I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about what is the difference between the correlation coefficient and the coefficient of determination. Now, they're actually very closely related to each other, but there is a, a fundamental difference between the two. Now, let's talk about the correlation coefficient first. Now, the correlation coefficient is denoted by the letter R. Now, as you might imagine in statistics, the correlation coefficient determines the strength and direction of, between the two variables, generally x and y. Now, there is a pretty big formula and long formula associated with the correlation coefficient. It's pretty much a pretty, you know, a number crunching um, formula. You just basically basically plug in the plug and chug, the x and y values, and you're going to go from there. Now, but the bottom line is the correlation coefficient r determines the strength and direction um, between the two variables, and the relationship is going to be linear. Now, the coefficient of determination. is denoted by r squared. So basically, what, to find the coefficient of determination, you're, you're squaring the correlation coefficient. But what the correlation coefficient of determination helps you determine is the percentage of data that is closest to the best fit line. So in a sense, coefficient of determination can you know, kind of piggybacks off the correlation coefficient's data and then helps you make additional um, inferences from there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's addresses the question, what is the difference between the correlation coefficient and the coefficient of determination?